people, how are we doing today? About time we finally return. It's been a while. It's been ages. The Premier League is back after the World Cup. Obviously, Christmas Day, you know, being yesterday, and that was good and that as well. Really enjoyed my Christmas. Had a good time and that as well. But that's over. It's Boxing Day. Palace take on Fulham at Selhurst Park. And, yeah, we need a win. We need to, you know, really hit the ground running and come back with a bang. I'm optimistic, I'm confident, I'm going to go for 2 on Winter Palace. You know, I know we've got players such as Ferguson and MacArthur are injured, Mark Gay is suspended, Mitrovic and Fulham and that as well, uh, most likely may be injured. They've got good players still, such as Paulinia, Reed and um, Pereira, including the likes of Harry Wilson and Dan James, who could be an attacking threat and that as well. They've got a good, you know, decent squad throughout, don't forget Willian as well. And it's going to be hard for us to compete with that, you know, at times. But I think overall, our home form this season and that is the reason why we're not in the bottom three right now. I'd say that because our way form has been shambolic. So I'm going to go over Palace win there. But we really need to step up. It's a massive second half of this season for Crystal Palace. You know, we need to spend in January. We need to attract the players. We need the experienced players. We need some young blood. A lot of things need to improve. We need to start scoring more goals. You know, we need to pick up results away from home. Vieira needs to be a bit more positive in certain games and that as well. So, yeah, I know we've had a bit of a break in that and we've had a few Palace friendlies. They mean nothing. Today is going to be the test. Today is going to deter what kind of a second half of the season we're going to have unless we spend in January, unless, you know, we start picking up results and that. But we really got to step it up. We really got to show why we're a Premiership side. If we were to lose today, I'd be fuming. I'd be disappointed and angry. I expect nothing but a Palace win. Players need to step up, such as Elise, Wilf, Edouard, especially. He's been good at home so far this season. Hopefully, he can continue with that and, you know, get the goals firing in today at Sellers Park. But yeah, if we were to get a result today, it would give us confidence on New Year's Eve next week when we play Bournemouth away from home. That's a big game and that as well. But we're going to be focusing on today. I can't wait. I'll see you lot at Sellers Park. Do not let us down, Palace. Eagles! <laughs> people so the team lineups are in right now in goal we got Vicente Gaita left back is Tyreek Mitchell and it gets interesting because we've got Anderson and Rista and James Tompkins is starting alongside him I'm not a big fan of that I, I think he's past his best and he's not good enough for the team but who knows if he proves me wrong today and that um yes and Richards of course is on the bench right back is the final Klein midfield check the Cure um Eze and Schlupp um, he always seems to score against Fulham, so who knows if we can get a goal today. And our forward line, I'm not a fan of this. You've got Sahar on the left, Elise on the right, and Ayu up front, he's out of position. Ayu's a number eight. That move. He's a number eight type of player. I don't know why he's up front. Mateta's not even in the squad. I know we've got Edward on the bench with Kamadi Gordon, um, who is on the bench and that as well. We, we definitely need to bring him on because I just have a feeling we're just not going to start the game well. Fulham, Mitrovic has started. He's not injured. Um, they've got Paulinho and that as well. Willian and a few other decent players on there. So, God, today's going to be a close one. I mean, it's, I'm really sort of kind of nervous to close it kind of gets to kick off. So, see you there at Sellers Park. <laughs> Chance with the game that is are you doing the crossbar? Finally starting to put the cheer back. Jesus. At the first what half an hour the trap, but that's lifted the crowd a bit at least. Really good header. Giving the ball away. I mean, you get punished. Comedy defending, but shocking. Things have gone bad to worse now. Mitchell's just been giving it straight away, it's like a bad tackle. Yeah, this day is going from good to bad. I, mean, I don't even know. It's just shambolic. It's like a horror tackle. I've got no idea how bad that was. Score! Ah! Oh, Slugs is up really, don't it? That was garbage. It's going to be a long old second half. And James Tompkins is off again, a second yellow. Little Vicious has just run into him this time. Is he taking the net the ref? Come on! Uh, Mitrovic has gone down because we shot it wasn't even that bad. Oh, what? You've done it! Yeah, we're down to nine men now. This day has been a horror show. 
and he did elbow him in the face. And he did so. What a fight. Oh my god, the stage has gotten worse right now, I swear to God. I feel a worse free kick. So this year we're not spending January, we're going down because this team is just giving the hell up. And Fulham just look, Fulham are just taking a mick. A lot of players, I just put everyone forward and just try and get a goal for us to cheer about. It, it is just sad. End of. It's still going to start off. Yeah. Well, see you lot. Right, um, Crystal Palace nil. Fulham free, a Boxing Day disaster. Um, where do we start? Well, that was one of the worst Crystal Palace performances I've seen at home since we probably lost 4-0 at home to Sunderland, like, what, nearly six years ago. It was just end-to-end -end a disaster. No quality, no passion, no desire. Played around like a bunch of absolute headless chickens. It was embarrassing. I mean, it got worse, didn't it? I mean, after going a goal down, we then go down to nine... Sorry, we then go down to ten men. I think that's what happened, I can't even remember, but yeah, um, we were one nil down at half time, down to 10 men, come out second half, um, fall apart, you know, we get the, the Tompkins, I mean, what are you doing, putting your elbow um, in Mitrovic's face or sticking your arm up or whatever he did from what I saw, I first thought it was accidental, but then the ref said it was it was, it was clumsy and just decided to give him a second yellow and send him off. He was already booked in the first half. He, I never want to see the Palace shirt again. He's like the Mustafi at Crystal Palace defensively, James Tompkins. The guy needs to just go. Other players who aren't good enough in that as well, Ward, Schlupp, um, um, of course Tompkins in that as well, need to go in that. There's players like Mateta who can't even get in the squad. He's, either he's not even fit or, I mean, he's just not good enough to play. We can't score goals. 14 Premier League goals scored this season. Really poor. Shocking. We need to sign some players in January. That, needs, that result now needs to be an indication that we need to spend money in January big. We need to sign a striker. We need a holding midfielder alongside the crew. We need a right back. We need a left back for Mitchell. We need another set and a half. We need to start blooding some of the youngsters such as, um, Kam such as Kamari, Kamari Gordon. Maybe even call Raksaki back on, you know, from his loan spot at Charlton and that, you know what I mean? We need to we need to do that. We need to be more positive. We need to start games better. It was awful end to end. We did, there was the only positive I could take was we had a few attempts from like Ayer and Elise in the first half, and that's it. Second half, we didn't do anything. Fulham, they deserved to win. They were by far the better team and they dominated for 90 minutes. With us in games, we have like a five minute spell where we really shine and turn up, and that's it. We don't perform for 90 minutes. We're just not good enough. That's our big problem. That's been our big problem this season. I mean, listen, compared to last season, we were really good. We were positive. We were scoring goals. You know, was a, you're proud to be a Palace fan this season. It's just gone from. It's just gone down, down, down. We're just free falling, man. You know what I mean? And if we're not careful, I mean. We're going to be in a relegation. Well, I guarantee we'll be in a relegation battle if we don't either spend in January if we perform that bad. I look at the fixtures coming up. Bournemouth away, forget that. Our away form shocking. Bournemouth at home are brilliant. Our away form is terrible. I've already written that off. And we've got Tottenham at home. 
Tottenham are going to be up for that game, 100%. And I think they'll slaughter us. Southampton in the cup. I mean, I, I'll just put the reserves out for that game. Like, we need to focus on surviving and staying up in the Prem. And it gets better in January next month. We've got Chelsea away, which I'm going to, and Newcastle at home, who I think just beat Leicester today. Um, yeah, Newcastle on a, on a roll. Chelsea away. We, I mean, we can't even, we, we never seem to beat Chelsea. I don't know what, I mean, our record against them, against them is a, it's a poor one, man. So, yeah, I have a feeling if we were to lose all our fixtures between now and the end of January, they, they got a sack Vieira. Simple. I'm really just not, I've got no confidence in us anymore. I mean, there's no fight, there's no passion, there's no desire. The spirit has just gone from here all the way down to here. The team just, it's just not showing up. It's just starting games really slow and not performing. So we just need, I'm just, I'm just fuming, right? I'm, I'm not even uh, angry. I'm, 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 I'm fuming inside and disappointed. But I'm just deflated and depressed because it's just, we have a six week break and they come back and play like that, whether we were down to nine men or not. It was just awful. The booze at half time, booze at full time. Most of the Palace fans left. I've never seen Selhurst that empty and quiet and isolated for ages. The atmosphere, I'd say that. I know there was a train strike, but look, we just need this needs to be a learning curve. The, the ball needs to respond. The team needs to respond somehow. It's going to be ages till we get a good performance and a win. I mean, I can't even see that. Well, our next win's going to come from let alone a goal, but big, big changes need to be taking place at this club in January within the next few months between now and the end of the season. Because if not, we're going to go down that table and get relegated. Sorry for the long outro, by the way, but i just got to address our issues and what needs changing. I'm just talking the facts. You know, we've we got to buck our ideas up now. If we, don't, if we don't spend money in January, if we don't sort it out now, we're going to be finished. We'll be relegated. So I'll see you lot in the next video. Like, share, subscribe. Socials is linked in the description down below. See you in the video. See you lot in the next one. In a bit.